Hey kids, in this video, you're going to be learning about Movie Maker, which you've been waiting all year to learn. So, to do Movie Maker, the first place that we start is to put in our flash drives or our jump drives if we're at school and we need to move our project around. But if you're at home and creating a movie at home, you can just create a folder in your documents. But in order for this to work, you have to create a folder and put everything that you need for this movie inside of that. So I just went to my computer, US Drive. In there, I'm going to right click, name it whatever you want, depending on your project. Whoops, I need to go back and rename. Okay, now inside of this movie, or inside of this folder, you're going to create a folder called Pictures. Oops, sorry. And you're also going to create a folder called Videos. Now, for this movie, any videos or any pictures that you want to add here need to be put inside of this folder or when you go back to edit and work on your movie, they will be missing. All right, so once you have created inside of your movie folder, create one called pictures, create one called videos, and then you can close all windows. Now, the first thing I wanna do is show you very quickly how you can go out and get some pictures to put inside of your folders. You may, you should already have this when you're starting your project. So this is another whole movie that you can watch, but I will show you very quickly. Go to Crosser Cares um, for South McKeel kids doing technology products. You must use these approved websites to get your photos from. And just click on them. And here you can search whatever you're looking for. I'm going to look for some pine trees. See what they have available. And search go. And here they have uh, lots of options. When you find the pictures that you want, you choose, you click on it to make it a little bit bigger here. You don't need to click on it again. This will be big enough for you. You right click on it, save picture as, and then you have to navigate my computer, flash drive, the name of your movie file or folder, and then save inside of pictures and just hit save. Each website is different, but you ha you want to choose it so that it's bigger. It doesn't have to be huge, but you don't want the picture to be a teeny tiny picture because if you save it from here, it will only save the little squares. So you want to click on it one more time so that it's this um, this size is big enough. Okay. So to do that, you'll want to fill up your folder. Okay, I've gone through and added some pictures into my folders. Obviously, you would have to stop the video and go do that. And if you don't know how to do that, or you still need help with that, you can go watch the other movie on Cross or Cares about saving pictures into a folder. But once you have all the pictures collected and videos that you may have collected, you want to put them in here. This one, I will only be showing you how to add pictures and how to edit those pictures and add transitions. I will add the video making next, but I don't want to overwhelm you in one session. So in this one, we're going to learn how to uh, make some basic movies. So everyone has Movie Maker. Go to Start All Programs, any um, computer. Usually almost everyone that has Windows installed will have a Movie Maker. The problem is sometimes those with newer Windows um, Vista or Windows XP have a newer edition of the Movie Maker, and I haven't... It, it does not work. I haven't successfully taken it from the new version and brought it into the old version to edit it. So just remember that you have to remember what um, what version you're using. So go ahead and open up movies. I just like to make it big. If you go file, new project, it would... Um, no, okay. So we want to do file, save project, save project as. And we're going to go to navigate to the folder that you have already created. So if you have already, um, if you're saving it on your flash drive, you're going to go to your flash drive. If you're saving it on my documents, um, you would save it in there. Go into your folder. 
into the um, and just save it. You don't need to go into the picture or into the video. It's just right inside of the um, the folder. And we're just going to call it like first movie. Um, if you were doing, I know we're making jump rope for heart movies. So if you're going to do that, you could call it JFH for jump rope for heart. Whatever you want. If you were doing a Northeast project, you would call it Northeast movie. Um, something like that. Go ahead and click save. Now the first thing we want to do is um, import pictures like I said. The next episode, I'll um, once we get a hold of this, we will. I'll add another one that teaches you how to add videos and how to edit those videos. And then music is another episode. But for now, we're going to import pictures. Come to import pictures. You have to navigate to where you saved all those again to your movie file, your folder. You need to have everything saved in the movie folder, remember. So I'm going to go in here and go to the pictures. Now I can select them. I can hold control on the keyboard and select them one by one and then deselect them, deselect them. But I can also start on the top one if I know that I want them all. If I wanted to make sure, I can change this here Oops. to thumbnails and it will give me pictures. I'm going to select the top one and go all the way to the bottom, hold the shift button down and select it and it will select everything in between and say import. Okay, so now these are the pictures that I want to make for this movie. When I find the pictures I want, I'm going to grab the picture. I'm going to drag it down here. We want to make sure that when we're starting, we're just going to keep it in storyboard form. So I'm just going to take all the pictures again. I could select the first one, select the bottom one, hold shift down and select the bottom one, and it will get everyone in between. And I can just pull them down, and it will place them in here to see here are the pictures that we wanted. Since I already have this one in here, I can just click on it and delete it, and it will take that one out. So here are the pictures that I have. I can add video effects to the pictures in here. So under Edit Movie, you go to View Video Effects, and it will show you the different options of the things, um, the choices that you, the effects that you can add to the pictures. If you want a, a preview, it'll give you, this is your preview window, and so it will give you a little preview of it, and you can even play it. It doesn't do anything, like some of these, like slow down, and some of these um, add a little effects to it to make it look kind of old-fashioned. Okay, so I'm just going to choose the different different things that I may want. I don't have to have an effect on every single one of them, but as you see, I add it, it kind of makes it look all cartoonish. Yeah, I can add some sm smudges here. And notice the um, the little star down here will turn to blue. Okay, so let's add old age to one of these. Let's do it here um, to the puppy, the little puppy. So we'll make them look all old fashioned. All right, now in here are your video transitions. So I click into these little rectangles and I click view video transitions. And this is how it's going to um, transition from one picture to the next picture. So you can go through here. These are all the different transitions that you could use. So when I pick it, I'm just going to drag it down and place it right in into there and you'll see. If you have a lot of pictures, you might not want to put transitions on every single, between every single picture because that can get a little annoying for the for the audience. All right, so you can always come back here to the first one and click play, and you can watch it. It'll watch, it'll play your movie all the way through, and so it shows you the different effects that you've added to your movie. Okay, so I think, well, I might want to add a few more transitions, so we'll add a few more in here. Okay, now that we have added effects and transitions, we can add titles and credits to our movie, to our very simple, basic movie, but that's okay. We're going to click Make Titles. This is the one way that Animoto is better, our uh, movie maker is better than Animoto because you have more options with the amount of text that you can put in and where you can do it. You, can, you always want to start a movie by placing a title at the beginning. For South McKeel students, we are going to put our first name, last initials, and then you're, um, you need to title, give it a title, of course. And then I want um, created by your first name, last initial, and then your homeroom teacher. So that it helps me when going through and grading. You can say that we have this picture down here. 
you can um, choose to put a title before that picture. You can choose to put a title on that picture, which is something a little different than Animoda. You aren't able to write straight on the picture. And also title after. So you can also come here and put it after the picture. And then credits at the end. And this is where we would put all the citing for any um, pictures that we use, any music that we used, and any research websites that we used. But we're just going to add a title at the beginning. I'm just going to call it random, random stuff. by Mrs. Crosser. I would be, um, I guess, I'm just going to use as an example, I'll put your student first name, first letter for your initial, and then your homeroom teacher. Okay. Now, you can highlight all of those and you can change the animation. So you can choose, do I want it to scroll in and it gives you a little preview? Do I want it to fade in? Okay. Do I want to fade wipe? And just go through the different ones and it will show you. It will show you how it would look. You can, lots of different choices depending on what your project is. Okay, we'll go with this one. I like it. Um, you can also change the font. And you are um, you can change the background color here. So maybe we want to make that we could make that pink. And it would change that. We could make it green. Okay. You can mess around with these different things here. You can cho change the font of it if you wanted to. And once you are all finished, you say done, add to the show. And you come right here and you can see this is the title that you've added. If you ever want to um, edit that, you can all you have to do is right click on that and you can edit title. You can actually um, add effects to it. You can't see what they are in this with this screen or with this pop-up window. But you might know them and you can add that to that. And that changes the little blue one. So again, right click and you can add these things and edit it and come all the way up here to edit title. It's kind of hard to see. All right. And then when you're all finished, of course, you make sure you add the, the title or the, um, the screen at the end with the, the ending credits. Always save this throughout because you know how technology can be. And when you're all finished with your movie, this is not, this is a very simple and basic movie. That's okay. You come to file save movie file and you choose the options most of the time it's going to be for my computer so for the purpose of any assignment that you would do in the crosshair cares technology lab you would be saving for my computer click next again name it i was um first movie random i'm just going to call it random and i'm going to make sure this is not this is if I just clicked our automatically next, it's just going to save it right on my desktop. I don't want that. I want it saved inside of my folder. So I'm going to go to my computer, into my flash drive, into my file. And that's fine. I don't need it in the picture or the video folder. I just need it in the main folder. Click OK. Click Next. We want the best quality. You can choose more choices if you just want to do this real quick and you, you wanted to preview it fine, like made and want to go back and edit and then say next. And just like an Animoto, we'll just have to wait for it to process and to create the movie. Okay, now once it's finished creating the movie, you say you click finished and I've already done that. Then you can go and navigate and see that it has been saved in your folder. Right here is your, um, this shows you the final. This would be if you, oops, I guess I spelled it wrong. But this would be if you wanted to go in and edit your movie, you come into this one when you're still working on it. This right here will be your final movie and you can click on it and you can see that it will play. We don't have any music, so it's kind of boring, but for now we can see just how to add pictures, add effects to the pictures, and add transitions, and then to save a movie file. 
Thank you for tuning in.